I gotta kill my throat for this one because it's about to be another long story time, y'all. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna give you guys what you love to see from me. I'm gonna be giving y'all a story time. And y'all thought this story time about me being 15 and pregnant was juicy. Well, can't nothing top that story, but I still got a juicy ass story to tell. So I'm gonna tell you guys about the time that your girl got arrested for the first time and the last time in her life. I'm not gonna for that one, but it was my first time and I don't plan on ever getting arrested again in my life. I could just tell you the simple date of when I got arrested, but it wouldn't make sense until I tell you the full, full backstory. Um, the only people who I'm gonna give real names is to is my family. I don't know the real name. I don't even remember the freaking names of these girls because it's been like freaking, woo, it's been a long time. It's been almost five years since this happened. I was, it was back when I was in nail school in, um, yeah, beauty school for nails and I was still living with my mama. So let's just get into this craziness. Four years soon since that happened. Okay, so I was living with my mama. I was living with my mama, I think I was about like 18 or 19. I don't, it don't even, the ages don't even matter. So I was living with my mama. My mom was renting a house at the time and it was this huge, beautiful house. We loved the house and it was down the hill. That's the only downside about it or whatever. So we used to always hang out outside that house, always playing. And normally every neighbor, everybody in the neighborhood knew each other. Everybody in the neighborhood would kick it with each other. Cool, yada, yada, woo, woo. So later down the line, these new people had moved in right next to us. And our house was owned by the same person. We were kind of close and our house kind of looked similar. So yeah, it was like, cool, interesting, new people moved in. So it was like a lot of people living in the house. Like it was like the mom, and like three female, three older females, two younger little girls, and then like two boys, maybe three boys. So they moved in or whatever, but I don't know, it was weird. Like we never got to talk to them or anything because they were very like standoffish kind of neighbors. So, you know, we just stayed in our lane and mind our own business. So every morning my older sister would get up sometimes to drive my younger siblings up the hill, down the hill to get to the bus stop all the time. That was her normal routine way before these new people moved in and even after they moved in, my sister would drive up the hill, down the hill, regular, and drop them off. So one day with me, my sister, my, me and my sister Desiree and my cousin Tiana, we was chilling on the hill. We was chilling on the hill at um at our house. We all that was the spot. Like we used to sit up on top of the hill because we didn't have one of those little electrical boxes at the time to chill at. So we was just chilling on the hill, talking. We was talking about random stuff. I, I remember we was talking about when my sister had went to Six Flag and we was laughing and giggling. And then next door, we saw they was outside too. We wasn't worried about them. They was outside. And then was a period of time where they went in the house for a while. Cool, we still chilling outside. My mom's in the house. I think my mom's in the house laying on the couch taking a nap or something. So, um, we just chilling. And then the people, our, the neighbors come back outside. It's two girls, it's two old. I think one of them maybe was like 20 and the other one was like 18, about the same age as me. I don't know how old they were, I really don't. So they came back outside and they were just sitting on the stairs because they had like little stairs to go down their hill into their house. We didn't have stairs. So they were just sitting there on the stairs and we were just talking and laughing. Wasn't even stunting none of them. Like we don't even know their name or nothing, y'all. This is weird. So my sister, she just sit here talk about how her and her friends went sick swag and it was fun and what happened. And we hear somebody say, okay, my sister's name is Desiree. So we hear somebody say, Desiree, and I'm like, damn, I thought I heard somebody say your name or whatever. But then, you know what? We brushed it off. We just kept talking like, no, nobody in this neighborhood. I mean, nobody around, around know your name. Like, nobody, I don't even see nobody outside to know your name. So then we hear somebody again. We, we continue our conversation. <laughs> somebody was like, Desiree. And my sister was like, huh? And then I'm looking like, what the hell? How do they even know your name? Like, this was the weirdest thing. We was, we still don't know to this day how they know my sister's name. Weird. My sister is two years older than me, by the way. My sister was like, huh? And then the girl 
we look over, this girl is fully greased, looking like a whole ass grease. Like literally, like she went and just bathed in coconut oil or cooking grease or something. And her, and her sister is too, I guess that's her sister. I don't know what the heck they was, honestly, to this day. So that she was like, you trying to hit me with your car, so what's up? And my sister was like, what are you, huh? She was like, yeah, every morning when I be walking my such and such to school, her, she used to walk her little sister to school, and you try to hit me with your car the other morning, so what's up, you wanna fight? Like she started going in and stuff. And my sister was like, the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? I ain't trying to hit you with my car or whatever. And I was, that's my sister was like, what is she talking about? My sister was like, she was in a road one morning, but I swerved around her. I don't know what happened, but she was in a road, my sister swerved around her. No, my sister's attitude, she might have blow her horn at her. Either way, go, why are you in the middle of the road in the first place for somebody to be able to hit you with your car? Hit you with their car? That didn't make sense. But I'm just sitting here looking, and at this point, I'm froze. I'm in fighting mode. Like, obviously, they ready to fight. Obviously, I'm out here looking like a fool with some damn shorts on, legs out, hair not tied up, nothing like that. If I get into a fight right now, I'm gonna get drugged. My knees gonna get scraped up. My face gonna be looking crazy. No. So they, I just let them stood right there and argue, and I freaking jumped up. <laughs> I jumped up and I ran in that house. I ran in the house. Actually, I didn't even have on no shoes, y'all. I ran in the house and pew, went right downstairs to my room because me and my sister had the whole downstairs, le le downstairs level of my mom's house. When I tell y'all I went flying down them stairs and my cousin Tiana was like, oh yeah, we about to fight the neighbors. Like, we was all in, like, oh yeah, we about to fight. We about to fight the neighbors because this girl was talking about something about hitting their car and then my mom jumped up out of bed. I'm already downstairs with my freaking uh, Nike Air Max on, done put on my clothes and everything. Like, what's up? Like, first of all, you're not, first of all, Y'all, I think I really just spit. Like, I'm out here with my Air Max on. Like, first of all, you're not about to try my sister. Even if she didn't try to hit you with a car, you want to fight? So, what's up? Because that's the type of mentality that I had back in the day. Like, fighting wasn't nothing to me. Like, okay, so I go put on my shoes and stuff. And we come back upstairs. We ready to fight them. And my mom's sitting here standing in front of the door like, y'all got too much to lose. It ain't even worth it. Yada, yada. She's trying to give us this speech. And normally, her being the person that she is, she usually wouldn't even do that. Like, if somebody try us... You know what's up? So she gave us this speech or whatever, and she holding us in the house. And I guess they family came outside and started holding them back. And at this point, of course, you know how some people do. They ain't really, they don't really be about it because they don't start hyping themselves up until somebody start holding them. So I think somebody over there started holding them. And she was like yelling like, what's up, bitch? Like she was going in. I'm just, I'm not the type of person that's going to sit here and talk and talk. And I'm just standing there like... I mean, you already was bold enough to stand over here close to our yard to call somebody's name with your stalking self. Like, that don't even make sense. Okay, cool. We did not get into a fight that day. My mom was calling my whole family. Like, guess what? These neighbors weird. This happened. Whoop de whoop. Cool. But as time went by, it was like little petty stuff here and there. Like, little petty stuff. Like, they'll be whispering about us. We'll be talking up about them. We all sit on our own separate porch. Days and days and weeks and weeks went by. So, um, then their two sisters started going to school with my sisters. And my sisters then was telling me, like, oh, yeah, she would walk her little sisters them up to the, um, to the bus stop and stand there and try to pick and talk about us and stuff. Talking about my little sisters. The older sister would walk with her little sister to the bus stop. And her old, overgrown self was sitting there and pick with my sisters. And I was like, it's okay. They time gonna come. They time gonna come because I cannot deal with these little, whoo. I, I was so irritated, y'all. Like, I don't know these people from a can of paint and then y'all doing all this like y'all dispressed about I, I don't know what they pressed about it was very angry so yeah they were always picking my siblings on the bus and stuff when even the other sister they would tell their younger sister to pick with my siblings them on the bus and stuff and all that and one of my sisters, she just wasn't into the whole fighting thing, so she just ignored it. The other one, she the quiet one, but she's she gonna go psycho on you, like, period. And then the other one is just, I don't know, she got a lot of mouth, but I, I don't know. She got a lot of mouth, but when it comes time to fight, it's, I'm just trying to name all my siblings and stuff and what they do. Cool. I gotta speed up on this story, because it's already 10 minutes in, and I ain't even got to the juicy part about when I got arrested. So, I'm trying to think which one came first. Oh, okay, so eventually as time went on, my sisters them got tired of them picking. So the quiet one that I said was crazy, 
she eventually got into a fight with the, the younger sister, the younger sister on the bus, and she beat her up so bad. She gave her a black eye and everything. And you know, the little sister gotta go home and tell her big sister she done got beat up. So you know she was pissed. You know she was pissed. Like <laughs> she was so mad. But that's why you don't mess with them quiet people, y'all. Don't mess with quiet people. They crazy. Mom was at work. Um, I think their older sister was there and she come banging on our door because my mom was like, stay in the house, don't let nobody in the house or whatever. She come banging on our door and we just picking at them through the door and we opened the door crack and she was like, um, is your mama here? We need to talk to her about her, your, her daughter her in on my sister, yada, yada, yada. And I was like, no, she's not here. And I, and I shut the door in the girl's face or whatever. You know, they was talking junk when I shut the door in their face. Like today was not that day to fight. It wasn't that day. So one day we decided after that whole fight thing, we were just tired of it. We were just done with it. We was done with these older kids coming to the bus stop, picking with little younger son. We was just done with all of it. Don't even know where the heck all this even started at. We was just over it. So since they had caught, we was like, okay, they caught us off guard. We was chilling in the, we was chilling in our yard and they caught us off guard. They was outside greased up and ready to fight and everything. So you know what? We about to catch them off guard. One day they all had went to the grocery store. That whole family, our neighbors, they went to the grocery store. While they was at the grocery store, because they had a big family, but we had a big family, but it was of younger kids. So we had to get everybody that matched up with their age, literally everybody over there with the neighbor's age. So when they was at the grocery store, wherever the heck they went, I call, we called my guy cousin because we already knew it was an older brother who used to talk junk. So we called my guy cousin for him. Then my sister called her ex best friend for one of the girls. And then my cousin Tiana was over there. And then my sister Desiree. And then I got another sister. She's 19 now. Her name is Shanathia. And then we got an, another sister. I have a lot of siblings, but we have a lot of them. And it was only a couple of, of, of us that was older. So yeah, so we had put on our stuff. I didn't even put on no grease. I put on a hoodie and tied it up or whatever because you're not about to mess up my face. So we was all ready for the fight. And we was just joking around like, let me put on my grease. We didn't even ever put on no freaking grease to get into that fight. We was just being funny. Like they was just being funny. So we were just walking up and down the neighborhood, letting everybody know, like, okay, it's about to be a fight out here soon. It's about to be a whole fight out here in this neighborhood soon. I just want y'all to know that. We don't call, we don't call up our people. We don't got our clique and everybody in the neighborhood just walking outside trying to see what's about to happen. <laughs> we crazy. We crazy, bruh. So the whole neighborhood outside trying to see what's up, see what's about to happen or whatever. So I was like, oh, I can't wait to catch. They want to catch, they want to try to catch somebody off guard. I got something for them. They better be ready to fight as soon as they get out of the car. They pull up and they all pull up all so like confused. We all, I think half of us, we was actually walking down the street. Half of us was walking back down the hill toward them. The other, the other half of us was sitting on the porch just like, y'all just don't know what y'all done got y'all self into. So they get out the car with the groceries and we just walking and then you know the little the girl, the girl with the smartest mouth, the ringleader, she said something smart like, like I think she asked us what we was looking at, we looking at you, what's up, we looking at you, what's up. So she was grabbing, getting ready to get the groceries out the car and everybody was like, they was all looking like, what the fuck, all these people surrounding us, like what's going on, my, sis, my, my sister Desiree was like, what's up, like, what's up, what's, what's popping? So I got my sister Desiree right here, like my 12 year old sister behind my sister Desiree, 12 years old, barely even that. She probably wasn't even that age at the time. The one who go to middle school with the other sister. My sister's like, what's up? What you want to do? This girl, this grown girl walked past my sister and my sister's looking confused. Like, I want to fight you. You, you check me. She walked past my sister and tried to punch my other sister, the younger one. <laughs> and Desiree grabbed the girl and then they just went in and started fighting. And then my, my god cousin just standing on the side like, I hope they brother do try to jump in. This boy tried to jump in and my cousin punched him so hard. He went rolling down the hill. And then the other girl, the other little one that was about my age, me and her started getting into a fight. I had on my hood and everything. And I'm just boom, 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 like beating the crap out of her, beating the crap out of her or whatever. And she tried to grab, she thought she was gonna grab some hair, but <laughs> I had the hood on, so she couldn't grab nothing. Or whatever, she could, only thing she could grab was my hood. So I'm like banging her head, like let my hood go, let my hood go. She could not fight. I was like, wow, for some group of girls who got a lot of mouth, they, this girl cannot fight like, I left out of there, no bruises, no marks. I was not feeling on type of way. I wasn't sore like I normally am into a, when I get into a fight or any of that. The fight over, I don't know what the heck happened to my sister, but I want to say she tripped 
and she bumped her lip on the ground or something because we was on a slanted heel. Wrong place to fight. Bump her lip, bump something on, on her face or whatever. So my sister's like, she was pissed. She was like, I, I, no, I don't fucking bust my lips over here trying to fight these girls. Yada, yada. She was pissed off so bad because, of course, she got to go to work like that or whatever. Half of the fight was over with. Everybody went in their house and went their separate ways. Like, the whole neighborhood was like, oh, my God. Like, this shit is crazy. So somebody called the cops. Mind you, it's nobody old enough. It's no adult at home with us. I mean, my sister is considered an adult, but my mom is not home. So we had, did we call our auntie over? No, we didn't call our auntie over. So we all ran in the house and hid, and then the cops pull up. Somehow, thank God that they didn't even do nothing about the fight because they, I guess they couldn't really prove it. But yeah, they was just like, y'all need to stay in the house and y'all need to stay away from each other. The cops didn't do nothing that time. Boom. A couple weeks went by. They were still picking the neighbors after they done got after we done already got into a fight with them and thought we done settled. They were still picking and picking and picking every single day. And at the time, I had graduated. I was going to nail school, so I had to be at school later than my siblings who had to be at school. So I would just be in there sleeping like on cloud nine. And one, my mom would just send them off to school and go back to bed. My stepdad would go back to bed, and I would go back to bed until it was time for me to get up. And my other sister down the street who would get picked on, she was in middle school, she had a phone. My mom had knocked on my door and my stepdad saying they had woke up to a lot of missed phone calls from my sister, Shanae, that's her name. And she got a lot of missed phone calls, my stepdad got a lot of missed phone calls, then I got a lot of missed phone calls, and I was like, what the heck? When I tell y'all I jumped up out of my sleep, I was not thinking in my right mind at all. I did not know what I was thinking, but all I know, it was just, all I saw was red, like, what the heck? I said, I bet it has something to do with these girls again. I bet it do. So me and my stepdad jump in the truck, and we, we jump in the truck, and he literally speeding down the street. We get down there. The bus is still sitting there. The crazy girl who said, Dad's already banging on the banging on the thing, like, get off the bus, bitch. Like, all that. She was talking to my sister, Shanae. She was like, y'all get off the bus, banging. The bus can't leave because they got this crazy girl banging on the thing and all that, yada, yada. So I'm trying to get out the, I get out my stepdad car not thinking. I'm trying to go to the bus to see what's wrong with my sister. I'm like, what's up? Like, what happened? Did, did, did she touch you or whatever? So I go up and I'm talking to my sister and she tried to start talking too. Her sister is over there on the side too. And I'm not thinking like, damn, if you get out of this car, they probably gonna jump you. I didn't think that. All I thought about is let me see what, what the hell wrong with my sister. Like, let me make sure none of y'all touch her. After that, the bus can leave and I'm gonna get back in the truck. I'm still halfway asleep. Like, what? And my sister's like, no, don't get out the truck. He said that. But it didn't register to me to after I had already got the truck, got out the truck and walked up to the bus. I get out the truck and I'm talking to my sister and she's still talking like you should. She telling me like me telling me to shut up talking to my own sister and I was like you shut up. Y'all supposed to be grown and y'all sitting here coming down here messing with my sisters you know, every day. I'm just yada yada like messing with my sister every day and da da da. She was like what's up? I was like what's up? So I start fighting her. Me and her start hooking and her little dusty sister again who I already done beat up jumped in it. And the same exact way I was beat, the same that she jumped in and they was they kind of like double teamed me for, for a quick little second. But the same exact way that I had beat her up the last time, she let me get her in that position again. I was like, this girl is dumb. She let me get her in the same position all over again. So we was all fighting with her. And then my stepdad ended up trying to get out the car to grab me. And he ended up getting into it with the, the, the same old lame big brother again or whatever. So they got into it. Cool. We go home and my mom's like, you know what? I'm fed up with this. Call the police because I'm, I'm done. I'm done with them messing with my kids. I'm, I'm over it. Call the police. Not not knowing that we was going to end up, well, I was going to end up arrested. So we called the cops telling them what happened. And then they were like, yeah, we got to arrest all of y'all. All of y'all who was in this fight. We basically called the cops and damn near told, basically told on ourselves. And the cops like, yeah, we have to arrest all of y'all simply because y'all got into a fight in a school zone. If you get into a fight in a school zone and you're of age, it's an automatic arrest, no question asked, because it's kind of like putting kids in danger. Even though all the kids was on the bus and the bus was loaded and trying to leave. So yeah, I was like, what? I'm getting arrested. I think I had to text my husband real quick. He was my boyfriend at the time. But I think I had to let him know or something. But then I think I was only able to tell him that I got arrested. I'm getting locked up. Or somebody text him. And then I was going after that. I put my phone down. And I left out the house. And my stepdad 
So I was getting ready to get in the car and my stepdad was trying to whisper something to me like, so they asked my stepdad, was he hurt? My stepdad said, yeah, I'm hurt. I need to go to the hospital. And my stepdad was trying to whisper something to me. And I couldn't figure out like, what the hell are you trying to say to me? I can't see what you're saying. So basically my stepdad told me he need to go to the hospital. If you go to the hospital in the custody of a police officer, they're responsible for your medical bill in Georgia. I guess that was going on at the time. They're then responsible for you being medically fit. So my stepdad was trying to tell me to tell them that I was hurt so I can go to the hospital instead of going to jail. So they don't want to come back and get me, get us from the hospital because we said, we would, well, they don't want to come back and get him from the hospital because he's like medically hurt and they don't want to be responsible for that. So they just gave him a citation because fighting is just a free charge and you just get a citation for it and go on about your life. Or you just go to jail and they book you in and then you get your court date later for your citation. So I go to jail and my stepdad goes to the damn hospital and he gets a citation from the cops before they send him to the hospital. I was in jail for so long. Like it felt like forever. I was in there for so many hours. I went there early in the morning. And I felt like I was there forever. And they put me like in this freaking small room. And you know what's crazy though? Like I, I was just numb because I was so sad. I was sad, but I wasn't sad because I had got arrested because my grandparents beat us to the jailhouse to, to bail me out. Like my family don't play that. You, you ain't staying in jail long for my family unless you murder somebody or something. So I'm just sitting there in the cell. They asked me, do I want some food? I was like, no, I don't want no. I don't want no food. And it was like a crazy lady in there. She was trying to kill herself. And that's, that was just in the holding cell area, like somebody on drugs. So what happened? I was just sitting there. And you would think I would be sad because, dang, girl, you done got arrested. You should think about life right now. No. All I could think about was the fact that I forgot my chapstick. I have big lips and I'm crazy about my chapstick. So I was so angry rocking back and forth in there because my lips were so ashy. I kept licking them and then it started burning. I was like, oh my God, I want my chapstick. I don't want no food. I don't want nothing. I just want my chapstick. I, I, that's all I need. You can leave me in here until my grandparents come. Just give me my chapstick. So I was just sitting there watching the clock, waiting, the clock right above me, waiting and waiting and waiting to get out because I wanted my chapstick. So my auntie came and got me. My grandparents had bailed me out, but my grandparents said they was taking too long to actually release you because we've been here way before the jail, the uh, officer even brought you to the jail. We beat them here. And I was like, okay, so I get it. They try to let you stay in the cell and take their time to let you out to teach you a lesson, basically, because I, I could have been out. So my auntie came back later about four hours after they had bailed me out to get me out. And when I tell y'all when I got home, I had, like, my phone was blown up with my husband. He was like, what happened? What's going on? Tell me. Like, I'm freaking out. Like, oh, I need a cigarette. I'm about to get a flight. Like, he sent me all the I, I'm about to get ready to book my flight, babe. Like, what you want me to do? He, like, contacted my mom. My mom's like, she is fine. She's out now. I'll tell her to contact you. She should be on her way home. First thing I did when I got home was put my chapstick on. And... All I got was a citation for it, and now it's, it, it don't even show up on my record or anything. So they said if I just pay the um, fine or whatever, I'll be good, and I'll be good. But just know, ever since that day, nope, I'm lying. I got into one last fight before I moved to California about three years ago. But yeah, yeah, damn. I said I wasn't going to fight no more after that. But just know, your girl ain't getting caught slipping. Your girl, your girl ain't even trying to fight no more after that situation. But that's pretty much story time about the time your girl got arrested. And I, I just, oh, it was just the most terrible, terrible thing that I ever had to go through. Because I was really thinking about my record, too. Like, after the fact, I was oh, my God. Like, I was going to work for law, law enforcement. What am I going to do? My life is over. But it wasn't over. Everything is good. I'm Gucci. Um... Yeah, I think that's the end of this story time. Follow me on all my social medias down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you want more story times. And I will see you guys in my next video. Mm -hmm.